Hello guys, welcome to the Axon Files and today I will be teaching you how to program the surface area on your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. So let's get started. Let's, let's first see how it works. So let's go to surface area, SA, so program. And now we can go to the cone cylinder sphere. Let's find the surface area of a cylinder. So let's say, so R stands for radius and let's say the radius is 5 and then now H, H stands for height. Let's see the height is seven. So we should get the surface area of 377. And yes, we can double check that with Google. Okay, so now let's go to program and start our program. So let's go to new. And now let's call this surface. So surface. Sur surface. So let's enter. So now let's go to program, right to I slash O, eight for clear home. So then enter, let's go to program. Uh, let's scroll down until we get to menu. Okay, until we get to menu. Now in quotes, we do find the surface area of of so then sp no, sorry space i mean no space so let's end quotes there so then alpha let's do comma find the surface area of then let's do in quotes cone c o n e c o n o my bad let's get rid of that c so cone c o n e cone so then let's go to alpha again comma so then we do one then comma again in quotes cylinder cylinder and quotes then we go to alpha comma two comma then in quotes again, our final surface area we can find is sphere. So sphere, S P P O P sphere. Then end quotes alpha, comma three. So then now let's go to program again. Label which is nine. Label one. Then we go to program. I slash O prompt prompt for r and h which is just radius and height radius and height okay so then we can do the surface area which is a equation that is a big mess so let's go it's a really long equation so pi r in parentheses it's r plus the square root of r squared plus h h squared and now we have to end these uh, brackets twice and we can do store as a so then now we can just do to go to program i saw show we're going to do three display display let's do second alpha alpha uh in quotes so surface area there this area then uh colon uh then we end quotes then we go to alpha comma a so then we go to enter the program we go stop Stop is down here under G. Okay, so now we can move on to cylinder. Let's go enter program again, nine for label, label two. Let's prompt again for R and H, which is height and radius. So prompt is radius, comma, oh my bad, 
radius comma oops my bad radius comma height okay so then now uh we can do so the surface area of a cylinder is two two pi r h plus two pi r squared okay and then we can store that as a so then we can display under program io slash show display display surface area is basically the same thing sir face area and then end quotes surface area and then alpha comma Okay, so now let's go to label three. So program nine, label three, which is sphere. So now we can prompt only R because there is no height in a sphere. So uh, so prompt R. So the surface area sphere is four pi R squared. So four pi R squared. Store that as a. So now what we can do is display, display in quotes, surface area, surface area, in quotes, then we go alpha comma a. Okay, so now we can stop the program. Let's go to down to G. Now we can stop and now we can test it out. So let's go to second and quit this. So let's go to program and let's try our new program surface. So for let's try cone out first. So cone, let's say the radius is six and the height is eight. Surface area shows it's 300 and about 302, which we can double check with Google. Okay, so now let's try the let's try the cylinder program. So let's go to enter. So cylinder, and let's try the same radius and same height, six and eight. So it says the surface area is about two 528, which we can double check with Google. Okay, so now let's try our final one, which is the sphere. So let's input the radius of a sphere as 8. Okay, so now our surface area shows it's about 804, which we again can double check with Google. So thank you for watching this video from the Axon Files. Be sure to check out our other video about the volumes, a program of volumes on the calculator, and also check out our distance and midpoint program on our calculator. Well, signing off for now. See you next time on the Axon Files.